I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on sequences and series. In this particular video, we'll discuss a special example on geometric series. We have taken up a geometric series which is infinite in nature. So the example before us is show that the following series have finite sum and then find the sum of the series. Series given to us is 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 minus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32 minus 1 over 64 plus so on. So this series is an infinite series. It continues forever. We need to find sum of this series. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. You can always write to me on the address given here, the email address. I normally respond in a day's time. And then you can also check our website, globalmathinstitute.com, for the latest videos on any topic of mathematics. Now let us see, how do we solve such a question? Well, clearly what we see here is alternating positive and negative terms. And we also notice that to get the next term, we are multiplying by a factor of half, right? So yes, we do see a series where we know that the value of A is equal to half and the value of R is 1 over 2, right? Since there is a negative number here alternately, we can say that r is negative 1 to the power of n. Now, first, second. Second term is negative, right? So we can say this is n minus 1. So that makes the second term negative. And then we are multiplying by a factor, which is half, right? So that is how the series actually grows. And... Uh, it's a geometric series clearly seen here. Now the question here is, how do we find the sum of infinite geometric series? So the only difference in what you have learned so far and what we have here is that the geometric series is infinite in nature. Otherwise, the same concepts can be applied, which we learned earlier for geometric series. Perfect. Before moving forward, let's look into the geometric series concepts. What is a geometric series? Well, in geometric series, you have the initial of the first term, and that is being multiplied by a constant term, which we call R. And therefore, the series which you get is A plus AR plus AR squared plus AR cubed, and so on. Well, the last term is not known since it is an infinite series. It just keeps on, I will say, growing for the moment. Now, some of this geometric series in general is given as a times 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. So that becomes the sum of this particular series. Got it? Now, we need to find the sum of infinite geometric series, right? So this sum is normally applied to the finite series, right? Now, the idea here is what happens when n is approaching infinitely large number. Now, that gives you the solution for the infinite series. You get the idea, correct? Now, if n is a very large number, in that case, what will be r to the power of n? Now, this is important to understand. Correct? What is going to be r to the power of n? Correct? Now, this is very important. Now, clearly, if r, let me write magnitude of r, right, is greater than 1, in that case, like 2, 3, 4, or 5, that to the power of infinitely large value is also going to be infinitely large. Correct. However, if the magnitude of R is less than 1, correct, in that case, R to the power of N will approach 0. 
for an approaching infinitely large value. Is that part clear to you? So that gives us the formula for the sum of infinite series. So clearly, if the value of r is greater than 1, right, the magnitude, you can say, in that case, the sum will be infinitely large, right, because this number here is infinitely large. But if the value of r is less than 1, then r to the power of n is approaching 0. And in that case, we can say what s of n is. Well, in this case, we have, now in the first case, let me write, in this case, s of n will be approaching infinitely large, correct? Because the value of r is approaching infinitely large. But here, since the value of r approaches 0, what is s of n approaches? Now let me write down in a different ink. S of n in this case will be equal to a over 1 minus r. You get the idea. Since r to the power of n approaches 0, so this is 0 for us, correct? So if you make this 0, you're only left with a on the top, and we get the sum as a over 1 minus r. So that becomes a simple formula to find the sum of infinite geometric series. Is that clear to you? With that in mind, let us now solve the question. So what I've done here is I've broken down this series into two parts. There are positive and negative terms. And then we need to show that each part is converging. This is important, right? Each part is converging. So what I will show you here is that this particular series, we want to find the sum, that is 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 minus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32 minus 1 over 64 plus so on. Now combining the positive terms, which are half 1 over 8, 1 over 32 and so on, we get one of the series, which is shown here. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 32 plus so on. The other series is with the negative sign, correct? So negative of the remaining terms, so which are 1 over 4 plus 1 over 16, right? My minus turns to positive, we have taken minus outside. So we have the second series. Now, individually, we can easily find the sum of both the series using the formula which we just derived. For the sum of infinite series, the formula is a divided by 1 minus r, and then we can easily substitute the value of both a and r and find our solution. So for the series 1, we have a equals to half and r equals to 1 over 4. And for the second series, we have a equals to 1 over 4 and r equals to 1 over 4. Now, substituting these values for the two series, we get S sum of infinite series for the first one is half. We are applying this particular formula, right? A, which is half for us, right? M divided by 1 minus r, and in the first series, it is 1 minus 1 over 4. In the second one, we have the first term as 1 over 4, and so the sum is 1 over 4 divided by 1 minus 1 over 4. Well, they have the same denominators, so you can uh, add the numerators, which is half minus 1 over 4. And that's what I've done in simple steps. Some of you can just multiply both numerator and denominators by 4 and simplify it very fast. You could do that, right? But here are a few uh, steps which may be unnecessary at times. So I've taken 4 as a common denominator. So in the denominator, you get 4 minus 1, right? So that is same for both. So that becomes a common denominator. The numerator is half minus 1 over 4. Doing the same here, taking 4 as a common denominator, we get 2 minus 1. Now 4 and 4 cancel away, right? So this cancels. And we get 2 minus 1 over 3, 
or 1 over 3 as sum of this particular series. You get the idea. Now, some of you could go straight from here. You can multiply by 4 both numerator and denominator. So, in this particular case, you do get, if you multiply both by 4, you get 2 over, this is 4 minus 1 minus 1 over 4 minus 1. And that gives you, let me just show in alternate way, which is faster, of course. 4 minus 1 is 3. And we do have 2 minus 1, which is also 1 so it is 1 over 3. So in any case, you get your solution that the sum of this series is 1 over 3. Okay? So we get our answer that in that case, the sum of this series is equal to 1 over 3. Correct? Formulas to remember are that for geometric series, we have a formula of sum, which is a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. But when the series is infinite, that is, the value of n is very, very high. In that case, the, the value of r to the power of n is negligible, right? So r to the power of n approaches 0. And therefore, the formula reduces to a over 1 minus r. And that is only possible when r, the absolute value, is less than 1. And remember, if that is the case, we say the series is converging, right? This is for converging series. So it converges to a finite value, and that is how we figure it out, correct? The so sum converges to a finite value, right? It is not rapidly growing series. So I hope the concept is clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, you can always uh, uh, that'd be great. And you can always send an email on the address given here to learn more. Thanks for your time and all the best.